In this tutorial, you will make a model, a custom geoprocessing tool that utilizes several tools in a specific sequence. The purpose of this model is to find the proximity of invasive grass species to human contact locations to mitigate their dispersal. To start building the model, you will first add the campgrounds layer. These are places where people might encounter invasive grasses. You will then add the buffer tool. The buffer tool defines a search zone around the campgrounds. You will then connect the campgrounds data to the tool. You will create a variable for the buffer distance. That way you can look for invasive grasses within any distance you specify. Next you will add input data for the invasive grass. This element of the model is also a variable, as there are different types of invasive grasses you will want to analyze. Finally, you will add the Summarize Within tool. This tool calculates how much invasive grass is in each campground's buffer zone. The inputs to this tool are the invasive grass and the buffer zone. You will connect these inputs to the tool. You will also create a measurement unit variable for the tool. This lets you find the amount of invasive grass in the distance you have specified. To run the model as a tool, you will set the parameters you want to appear on the tool interface. These are things you want the user to be able to choose, like the buffer distance or a different type of invasive grass. Now you'll save the model and open it as a geoprocessing tool. By filling out the parameters, you will find out how much white edge nightshade grass is within 1.5 kilometers of a campground. On the map, you can see the buffer zones around the campgrounds. By opening the attribute table, you can see which buffers contain the invasive grass and how much there is. You can use this model to analyze not only different invasive grasses, but also different human contact locations, such as hiking trails or farms.